the and, you know, real usage tactical operations, man, life gets exponentially harder the wider you go out. You know, and, and I know the rage today is these, these uh, whatever you want to call them, that are four inches wide and everything's shoved right here. And I see it, we're teaching CQV in the house, and even weapons manipulations become a real issue when you're six inches wide. Okay, so, so the idea with plate six plus 10 speed, the new model defender pouches, is everything is extremely low form factor. Uh, yep. It's, you know, low profile is not really a thing with the salter equipment, but it's low form factor. It's very tight to my body and tight to my sides. So when we talk about the hump and minimizing the hump, this goes back into our sling and sling tightening conversation earlier in the day. If you found yourself making the sling uh, looser to be able to fight off the hard side, but now the gun is hanging lower, eventually you're going to get to a CG pivot point where the items on your plate carrier are kicking the rear of the rifle out and the muzzle of the rifle back towards you to include your hot suppressor and your tweeve cry uh, combat pants, knee pads, your $700 fancy Arc'teryx pants, and you're going to start burning yourself and your equipment. If your sling is adjusted properly, now the CG works in your behalf and the hump is pushing the suppressor down and away and away from your kit as you're moving you know, around in, in the environment. You can get your knees up further, you can walk upstairs and things like that, and you're not crashing hot suppressor on below the waist kit to include your skin.